Hello YouTube, this is Advanced Seed Tutorials. This is my first video. I'm not going to go on for a while about that, so let's just get started into this. We are going to be making a scrolling menu, uh, well, just a scrolling menu with the arrow keys without any extra header files. Yay! Okay, so for header files, we're going to go and include IO Stream, which is just kind of like standard for uh, putting things in and out. We're also going to go and include String. And last, we're going to go and include Windows.h. I have not tested this on any other platform other than a Windows, so bear with me if you are on anything else. We're going to go and we'll use the namespace std, that we don't we don't type it all the time, and we're into the main function. And that is minop. Okay, so to start off, we are going to you. We are going to go and start using a array of strings that was going to, be able to store everything that we need. And actually, we can do this with like three. So um, we'll just go and do our options in here, which we're going to do. Start game options. And exit. That should be good. Okay. Um. Now we are going to create a while true loop, which we'll just go and repeat it multiple times. And we're going to use my. Unfortunately, we're going to use the uh, system command. There are way better ways to do this, but for num for the amount of time, I don't want to make you sit here for like half an hour. I'm just going to go and do it with this. I'm also going to hard code everything. So, uh, I guess we're going to start off, we'll just go and send, uh, actually we should probably go and set the color first. So we're going to go set console text attribute get std handle std output handle comma and we're gonna go and uh, put 15 which is white and now we're gonna go and uh, put out and see out we're gonna go put out main menu and there we go okay that's just to make new lines okay and what we'll go and do is we'll make a for loop and i equals zero i is crap i is less than three there we go. Okay, and now what we're gonna go and do? Oh, I always forget to do this. Okay, um, where? Oh, here it is. Okay, up here we're gonna go and create a variable called pointer, and we'll set it equal to zero. Okay, and now in here we're gonna go and test for pointer. If pointer, oh sorry, if i is equal to pointer, then we have to. We're gonna go and output it with a certain color. We're just gonna go. Like that all over again, and we're gonna go and do it with light uh, cayenne, which is 11. And then we'll just go and send to C out menu i and end line and show no backspace. Anyways, and then else we'll just go and set it actually to the paste. There we go, and UI and line. Okay, so all this code that we've written out so far, all it's going to do is just go and make a menu that will appear saying main menu, start game, which will be highlighted in a very light blue, like this kind of color, and then these ones will also show up in white. So now we're going to go and do how to navigate through them. We're going to go create a a while true loop again and in this loop we are going to test for the keystrokes so we're going to do it with the up and down arrow keys and the enter key but that will be after so we're going to go get a sync key state vk up and whoops if it is not equal to zero then we must take pointer and we'll minus equal one so subtract one from it and of course then we have to go and test this if pointer is now equal to negative one which we do not want 
we must go and set pointer equal to 2. If I remember to put the equal sign there. Okay, now pointer will equal 2, and after that we must break. That way it reiterates through all this and uh, redraws the new thing, new option highlighted. Else if get a sync key state if ek down and if that is not equal to zero basically not equal to zero just means it's not being pressed down because if it is uh if it's not being whenever it's pressed down it uh it'll return some random number which kind of goes and it's it gets literally the state of it the millisecond that you're testing it so now we can go and uh, get it in key state and now for this we'll go and add one to the pointer so pointer plus equals one and now if pointer is equal to three that's not in the scope of the array so we'll go and set pointer then equal to zero so now we should just about be able to we'll just go and finish up the code uh this right here actually right here we'll have to go and put a sleep statement just so it doesn't go too fast to 150 tends to work best i find for smoothest that we can do so this right here it's not very long this should just be able to iterate through the code so iterate through the menu and we're just going to let it all link and compile and takes forever when it's in a project so work oh there we go okay so now I'm going to hit the down arrow key nothing appears to be happening oh there we go and for some reason oh there we go okay We're just lagging for a quick second and I don't know why okay so it works for the up arrow key okay we're gonna have to fix that one uh, maybe Okay, I actually don't see the issue. Oh, that's it. Okay, I forgot to break. Sorry about that. Anyways, now it'll work because last time it would have just been changing it and it would have had absolutely no effect on anything. So we're just going to let this quickly do that. There we go, yeah. Works nice and smooth now. Okay, but when we go and press enter doesn't work on any of these and we have to go and put that in there so we'll just go back back into here I'm sure I don't need that much space we'll go else if get a sync key state vk return Re vk return is basically just the virtual key code that Microsoft were Marcus my, no. Microsoft uses for enter and after all there's their header file so if we get that we're gonna go and create a switch statement that we'll go and use to iterate well actually we're just gonna go and use to test what pointer is we'll go case zero if we have case zero we'll just go and I know right, let's go make a few lines below and we'll just go say starting new game dot 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 and yeah that should be good and we'll just go and make it sleep for a second so we'll just go 1000 okay get rid of that capital and we'll just go break next up is case one which is options uh, if you're wondering, anything that you basically go and do in this part of the uh, code is basically what you want each, op each option to go and do. So, um, basic when I when I implemented this into a game, I just went and created th uh, two different functions and just made it run them when you selected them. If not, I just want to put this entire thing, all this, into a function of its own. But anyways. This is the options. I'm just going to say that for now. And oops. Maybe 
go to sleep for a second. Okay. And let's have that break. And now exit is probably the easiest one to do because all we have to go and do is end the code by returning no errors, which is we which is what we do by saying return zero. So we just gotta put that up there again. Return zero. Space break. And there we go. So that is basically all of that. And now afterwards, just so it actually ends out of its own little cycle, we'll have to go and put break. So this is rather short. It's only 80 lines, but that's the entire thing. This is the entire source code, including the header files. Sorry for making me sit here for like 11 minutes. So let's go compile it, quickly test it, and I'll leave you guys off. So yeah, once it just all has some links, you should be able to see this. It works pretty well, it works perfectly fine. There we go, we'll start game. It waits two seconds, clears it. This is the options. There we go, and now if we go exit, it closes, just as we wanted. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'm not really gonna force you to subscribe or whatever, but if you want, go ahead. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.